Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening traders from all around the world. My name is Will, and in a short video presented by CME Stocks, we'll be going over my weekly watch list going into the 27th of June. Within this video, I'll be talking about risk off points, profit targets, and general market direction. So stick for it all. I also am going to go be going through nine potential setups going into the next week as well. So let's get into it. Firstly, what are the ideas? Can be found in the top right of the screen. So we're going to be going through Apple, Amazon, Google, Meta, Softy. Netflix, Tesla, and of course the SPY. So starting off with the SPY, we have seen quite a dramatic move to the upside since this uh, capitulating uh, move to the downside, as we can see here, from basically around 410 all the way back down to 360. So testing this uh, very key demand zone, as we can see around here, a lot of wicks can be found around um, this 360 area. So uh, we are looking good so far for a nice bounce back up and potentially back up to test this uh, this this very steep and dramatic downtrend. We also have the uh, 150 EMA, uh, SMA, 100 SMA, sorry, closing in. So we are looking for some rejection. So for this week, we are looking for $400 to be tested before a move back down to the downside. I am still generally a bearish on the market, and this is purely from a technical perspective. So next up, let's have a look at Apple. We are still in a dramatic down, downtrend, as we can see on the daily chart. The um, the SMAs are quite above, with the 100 EM SMA being at 149. Currently speaking, so we are looking for the this downtrend to break, and then possibly these pivot points to be tested, or at least some rejection around this 149 slash 150 area, as this 150 will be a key psych level. For Apple so we are looking for 150 for Apple this week next up is Amazon Amazon is looking uh, is looking good to test this um, this double uh, this double bottom neckline so we are looking for further moves to the upside for this one and of course the the hundred SMA is closing in on um, Amazon as well and basically just at this neckline too so around 122 slash 25 on uh, Amazon to be tested before continuation to the downside if we do actually burst above 125, we will be looking to test this uh, pivot point just above, so around 128 slash 29. And then above that, we could potentially start to fill this gap, which is this massive area just above here. So uh, we've got a lot of room on Amazon, depending on the whole market structure and how bullish we are going into next week. Next up is Google. Again, another beautiful dark bottom pattern, which has broken out, well, not yet, but has um, climbed to the recent pivot point very, very strongly and efficiently. Uh, so far, the volume isn't too good on uh, at, uh, on Google considering the massive move we have just seen, but it is not the worst to say. We are coming in terms with the recent pivot point, so we are looking for 2386 to break, and then above that, we are looking for this 150 SMA to be tested, so around 2450 for Google before um, a continuation to the downside. Next up is Meta. Again, we have seen a very, very nice candle on Meta on a daily time frame. So we are going to be looking for continuation on this stock as it does look have uh, a lot of room. Now, Meta is looking, um, it's, it's one of my favorite setups going into the next week, considering we are reversing and we could see a, a very, very nice move to the upside if this 50 SMA is broken. So this is just around 175. So 175, if it breaks, we are looking for this 100 SMA to be tested, which is currently around 190 for the stock. There are also a few gaps to fill, as you can see here on the daily time frame. So looking for a move up to 175. Past that, we are looking for 184. And then obviously past that, we are looking for this 50 SMA to be tested. 100 SMA to be tested, sorry. Next up is Microsoft. Microsoft, another very, very nice move to the upside on Microsoft. And we are currently testing this 100 SMA. So above this level, we are looking to target these pivot points. So let's just call it uh, 275 or Microsoft. And if this breaks, we will be looking for some rejection around the 150 SMA. Now, considering that uh, the SMA is very, very close to pivot point, this will be a major resistance for MSFT. So we could see a potential sort, uh, short sorry, around this area for then continuation to the downside. 
Netflix is a stock next up. Netflix, what are you doing? Uh, another kind of double bottom. Well, it is of a double bottom as you can see here. So we are looking for this neckline to be tested. So around $200. Now $200 on Netflix is a very, very key level as we have seen previous rejection for this stock. So we could see uh, rejection again. And as you can see, the uh, the 100 EMA is sharply coming into terms. So um, if we do cross this, then we do have room. But are we going to cross it? Is it likely? We do not know for sure yet. But if we do, we do have a lot of room as we can see um, a potential run all the way back up to the uh, the previous gap. So at least uh, let's let's call it two four five for Netflix. But it's only if we do pass this uh, this pivot high around two oh six. Lastly, Tesla. What is Tesla doing? Another nice setup to say the least. We have just crossed the um, the fifty SMA with a very very nice bull flag slash two bar um, explosion. Again, volume isn't too high, and we have not passed the current uh, or the previous high, or at least weekly high, on the stock. So we are looking for 240 to break above 240. We are looking for the the, uh, the previous pivot points to be break to be broken. So around 767. Past that, we are looking for uh, 790. And again, we do have the SMAs closing in, especially the 100 SMA, which has just crossed the uh, the 200 SMA. No, sorry, the 150 SMA. So Quite a bearish sign considering this this is crossing but we are looking for some rejection around this uh 290 level so for tesla our profit target will be around this 290 level next up is our watch list or at least bonus watch list going into the 27th so firstly uec i do think this stock is under accumulation we've just experienced positive earnings as we can see here on the chart and all the, all the SMAs are very, very tightly compact. So if we do see a break above at least this um, this red line here, so around $4, we could see some, some movement back to the upside to test this recent pivot around uh, $4.70 for UEC. But that is only if uh, we do see this um, this recent buy break, or $4, should I say. Risking off, we are looking to risk off uh, 3 12 for this stock. And also, if we take a little look at the monthly chart, we are seeing huge amounts of volume come in as this um, as this dip occurs. So it could be one to watch, considering all-time highs are just around 9:33. Next up is DNA. Let's go back onto the daily chart, and I think this one is under accumulation again with a massive volume spike coming in as, and it could be, and it can be seen as a rejection from this um this 100 EMA uh, so over this huge huge volume this bearish volume spike we can be looking for a very very nice move back to the pivot so around um less that that is a terrible line let's let's call it 360 so we are looking for 360 for DNA if we do see a break above 310 and of course past 360 we are looking to target 386 and then the magical four dollar level and then beyond Next setup is ACI. This stock has been a downtrend and it is looking good to break it. We have all the SMAs very, very tightly compact within this short range between $31 and uh, $29. So only a $2 range for these SMAs. So we are looking for a, a break through these as we have seen a, a bullish candle close above this bearish candle. Um, so we are looking for um, the next levels to be tested and these can be found here. So for ACI, we are looking for 29.96 to break. Above that, we are looking for these SMAs to be tested. So around 30.22, 30.50 and then $31. And then of course, we are looking for the pivot to be tested. So technically speaking, we can see a, a short term gain if we do break this, uh, this $30 level of... Um, 4.35% on this trade and considering that this is such a dramatic downtrend as well we could see quite a um, quite a move to the upside if this does actually break out from this uh, consolidation consolidation range at least uh, testing this uh, let's say 32 plus on this stock next up is ROKU again another dramatic downtrend uh, 
and we we do look very very bullish at least to test this uh this next pivot point next pivot point is around 105 so we are looking for 105 to be tested next week and then of course above that 110 now i'm only considering this as the spy is looking very bullish so we could see a creep up of 400 dollars on the spy very very soon next up is mrk mrk this is a healthcare stock and healthcare has been booming recently uh, or at least the sector has so we are looking for all-time highs to break on uh mrk and that is just around 94.15 so above this level we are looking to target the magical 100 dollar level which gives us quite a lot of room now of course going into next week we are looking for a bit of consolidation before this move because the longer the stock consolidates the more shorts can pile in which is very very bullish for the bulls and of course if you are a bull watching this make sure to smash the like button so i know uh, who is on our team same sort of uh setup for jnj but a little bit more room to all-time highs as uh, the stock is currently at 182 point uh 25 and all-time highs are just at 185.57 so we are looking for another move to all-time highs this is another healthcare healthcare stock and above 185 we will uh we are looking to test 190 plus on this one we are seeing quite a, um, a dramatic move to the upside considering the uh, the amount of gaps being formed um as the stock does uh does viciously uh keep on gapping up so we are looking for some consolidation around this level and then perhaps the test of this um, 185 level next up is BA BA is looking very very nice we've got quite a, uh, a resistance to pass here around 142 and above this level we are looking to test this recent pivot so that can be around 187 so we are looking for a move past the um, the 100 EMA and then a move up to this uh, 157 slash 158 level for BA. Of course, the risk off would be around um, 130 for BA. And I am very, very excited for this setup as BA has been beaten down quite a lot and very, very quite dramatically. And it is very, very, very close to the, uh, the, the bottom of the COVID lows. So we could see quite a, very, quite a nice move back up to at least these, um, these uh, SMAs to be tested. We do have the um, the 150 SMA just around 159 slash 160 as well. RCL is the next stock. Again, very, very beaten down from the COVID lows, and we are we are closing in on in on them after this um, capitulating move to the downside, as we can see here. Very, very dra dramatic move. Uh, we have actually seen a um, uh, a 56 percent drop since uh, the 14th of April. So very very dramatic drop and we could see uh, a very a very nice move up back to uh, this trend line or at least the um, the 50 the 50 sma which can be found around 46 dollars the current price of the stock is 41 dollars slash 42 dollars so we are looking for some consolidation around uh, these levels before a little move back up to the upside um, so yeah on rcl we are looking for 46 slash 47 plus or at least target this recent pivot low which is around 50 dollars on rcl nclh same setup and also before i move on to nclh i just want to highlight the amount of volume what came in on this friday's close huge volume i do think this setup can um, can explode to 50 dollars plus so keep an eye on it this will be the same for nclh again very very high volume currently testing the 50 sma and then above that, we are looking for um, some pivots to be broken. So let's just highlight these quickly. So we are looking for what, $13 to break. Then after that, we can probably or likely see $15.40 break. And then of course the um, the, the, uh, the, the 100 SMA, which is just around $16.40. Uh, I do firmly believe that NCLH and RCL will take off this week considering the amount of volume that has came in and how beaten down they are. Now, of course, this isn't a um, a firm prediction it is just a potential setup and this is one of the one of the, uh, the nicest volume stocks which i've seen in a very very long time um so that is it for the video for today i hope that you liked the video um i'll try and get better at least in the future i um i'll be highlighting stocks during the week on our twitter so if you'd like to uh, follow us on twitter we do post stock ideas daily and that is cne stocks or at cne stocks on twitter uh, so i'll catch you guys 
very very soon i hope this watch list was as informative as you need it to be i just really wanted to compact uh, all of my ideas into a very very short video to get them all out at once instead of me going very very in depth and very and like and dragging it out um so i'll be ending the video here i hoped that uh these ideas will bring you profits next week take care i'll see you very very soon we are not financial advisors of senior stocks, so any any stock ideas which have been presented in the uh, the previous video are not uh, directions for buying or selling a certain asset class. So I just wanted to present that. We also do run a free Discord, which can be found in the link in our bio. We currently are sitting at 925 members, and it's free to join. Within the Discord, we post our stock ideas all the time, and also talk about our ideas daily inside our trading floor. Uh, me, myself and Tommy post daily watch lists every single day. My personal daily watches can be found on YouTube, which is, uh, of course, see me stocks. But Tommy's watch lists are exclusive to our Discord. And each week, or each day, sorry, he goes over what he is watching within the market. So if you are interested in joining, I'll catch you guys inside of Discord. And make sure to have an amazing week going into uh, the 20th. 7th of June. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.